Christian advocate, the uprising in Tehran coincides with the rising disillusionment with Islam and the growth of the underground church. Growing up in a home with a Muslim father and a Christian mother, Iranian-American Shirin Teba had a special appreciation for being able to choose what she believed. When she told her dad that she wished everyone back in Iran could have the same freedom, he, knowing the harsh reality of the regime, said it would never happen. Since then, Teba has worked on the cause of international religious freedom, hoping to see the trajectory change in one of the most restrictive countries in the world. And with the current uprising of Iranian women and young people, the American advocate is more optimistic than ever. In Iran, Generation Z, whose grandparents lived through the revolution, has become particularly emboldened, creative, and strategic, inspired by the impact of movements like hashtag MeToo and hashtag Black Lives Matter. Millennials did their part, Gen X did their part, their parents, but this generation is very unique, Teba said, referencing the viral impact of young activists, including the move to dye Tehran's fountains blood red. Gen Z is no nonsense. They just go out of. The girls, they'll cut their hair, and they'll jump on cars. Iranians eager for reform have held out hope that they could work within the Islamic government, but Teba believes the country has reached a tipping point. It's been a month of protest, spurred by the death of 22-year-old Mosa Omini, who was arrested for not wearing her hijab properly. The viral videos of women cutting their hair symbolize long-standing grievances beyond dress code regulations to women's unequal status in inheritance, marriage, custody, and travel. The political pushback, Teba says, correlates with A. Continue reading. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.